in the Angular Material version 18, the Angular Material team has provided an option for us to derive all of our material color theming through the use of uh, CSS variables as well. Now that is not enabled by default. Now to enable this, what do we do? It is quite simple and in this color section here in the custom theme, all we have to do is we have to do use system variables and we can set this to true. So these system variables are because they follow the official material design specs and the official material design color roles. So they are about 49 in total. These are all of the 49 colors that are then available through the use of the color system variables. And these are the colors that we need to set in our uh, CSS files so that our material components can use them. So as it turns out that we can actually export all of our color system variables through this material theme builder that is available. And then we just need to use it in our apps. So I'm going to go in this option here at the top here and in the export option here. So I'm going to use the web option, which is going to give me the CSS in a zip file, all of the CSS in a zip file. So I'm just going to open this up. And if I go inside of this, you're going to see I have the light and the dark, both options available here. These are all of the 49 color system variables that we need in our app. The second thing we want to make sure when we copy it from the material theme builder is that we want to change the notation a bit here. So we're going to remove MD here. Okay, let's remove this. And we'll also remove color here. And now when we save this, you're going to see that we have our nice material uh, light theme available to us instantly just by copying the CSS variables. So let's say, for example, we change the primary to a very horrible looking red color. And let's see what happens. And you can see that it's instant. The buttons are instantly changed to that red color. And this looks horrendous, but you can see that it's all dynamic and you can change the CSS variables. What we're going to do is that we are just going to use the dark file that we got from this export. And in, the, in this dark file, you can see that we have all of the dark mode colors here. And when we add it to our ML or to the document, it's going to replace this default, these default values to these default values. And these contain the dark mode values. All right, let's add a button here quickly. So let's declare a signal here so that we can switch between the two. And when we click on it, we want it to switch between the dark and the light mode. So we're going to do dark mode dot set and the false of the dark mode values. So we can do set dark mode and we can use an effect for the purpose. And you, we can use the document or document element or class list toggle function in HTML to set the dark class. But we're going to do this according to the dark mode here. Let's click on this and you can see it switches to the very nice looking dark theme and all of our material components, they look really nice according to all of the material design specs. But what is the problem is that we have our widgets, which are custom components. And because we have hard coded some color values here is uh, these are not appearing visually correct here. So what do we do? Well, we use the power of the CSS variables again to set dynamic colors to them and make our widgets follow the official material design component colors. We can easily change this to use the CSS variable corresponding to our material design surface or one of the similar surface col colors and color variables. So what we're going to do is we're going to do surface right here. And when we switch it to dark mode, you're going to see that we're going to switch to this nice looking darker shaded widget background color. And you can come back to this again and you can now see the our widget component is now following the material design color system variables as you want it to as all of the other components are following it. So you can see we can virtually customize any color that we want in our app according to the material design color system variables bringing in a lot of flexibility and all of these changes are quick enough. We don't need to rely on SAS and we don't need to rely on complex, you know, getters to get these specific colors from the material design palettes.